That was impressive. Yeah, I, it brought me, it brought goosebumps to me. I had goosebumps. Yesterday I was a little concerned. He's so mellow in here. I've never oh, seen no, him before. No, so no, 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 no. Get out That's there. That's him, and he'll, yeah. he'll, like, right, where is he? No. Yeah. And he's mellowed out there right now. Yeah. This is phenomenal. He knows when to shut it down. On and off, right. That's what they always tell me. So, um, I was walking back, right, to Baffert and Jill and their co- Oh, they were? Yeah, they were all over there. He said, well, how'd he go? I said, you know how he went? You were out there watching. <laughs> I said, you know exactly how he went. So, Jill the other day, when I started Jill the other day, she, um, she says, tomorrow when you get on, she says, let him, let him uh, gallop out a little bit, like he's, right? And I said, oh, okay, Jill. You know. So when he, when I started him off, I had my hands full, right? I know you did, I saw it. So I told Jill, I said, when I started him off, I had my hands full, and I was thinking about what you told me. <laughs> that two minutes left around yes. there. That was great. I was looking right. He good. Came back good. We're ready to go. Huh? It's all in there now. It's all over. It's all over. Not when you name a horse after somebody, that can be a risky proposition. Sure the fact that it's turned out this way. Yeah, it's really it's really uh, nerve wracking when it's your father in law and the, and the, the face of the stable. So we uh, we put a lot of confidence in the horse and named it Dennis's moment. And I couldn't be ex more excited at how it's turned out. It's been a great story, and we just hope we keep adding to it. And what do you think, Dennis, about having this horse named for you? It was a big surprise. I actually heard about the first time when Dale Romans was interviewed I don't, about six eight months ago, and they said I want you to keep. Dale was telling the public to keep an eye on a horse by the name of Dennis's Moment. I called Jason up, where's this horse Dennis the Moment come from? Well, that was, they surprised me with it and I heard it from Dale Roman. So it's, it's exciting, I couldn't be happier. Uh, coming out here running a juvenile race, a big race like this, and being in horse racing business, it doesn't get any better than this. Uh, to run at this level and then be the favorite going in, but we want to win the race, so whether you're the favorite or not, <laughs> let, let's go out and win the race tomorrow. So that's what, very exciting. Well, what do you think, feel about your chances? I mean, you, know, you are the favorite. Well, I, we looked at it. We look at our workouts. We look at the other workouts. We've studied them forms all up and down. we got to have a good trip. We On the draw, that's not the number we would have wanted. We have to like it now because it is what it is. And they're sitting at home and watch that come out of the computer and roll the little dice the guy had. And we got the draw we got. And he's got to figure out the strategy. So the nice thing about it, we got one of the best uh, jockeys in the world on him. And so I'm sure he'll make it into a good trip for us. Uh, Jason, talk about just sort of the roller coaster this horse has been on. He was, Dale was touting him very yeah. much before he ever ran. Yep. He runs, the jockey comes off shortly out of the gate, mm -hmm. no fault of the, you know. Right, no fault of Robbie, no. Yeah. And, uh, and then comes back and wins at 19 by 19. Yeah, we, we, so also, we, thought, we thought a lot of the horse, obviously, the first time he ran, he was I think he was one of the favorites coming out uh, the first start of his life. And it was a terrible incident that happened, obviously. We were very disappointed, but we were so thankful that he came back safe and sound. And, and, and um, we knew we were going to Ellis Park. We had a great chance. And didn't, I didn't know in intentions or visions that we'd win by 19 links ever. But he just ran an unbelievable race, and it was great to see his talent come out that day. And then he comes back in the Iroquois, um, a length and three-quarter victory yeah. over a nice horse in Scabbard. But, I mean, I think a deceptive. I mean, they yeah. were pretty cranked down on yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, a two-year-old going two turns for the first time, uh, a big favorite. Obviously, we had uh, we thought, had all the comps in the world, but until they go two turns for the first time, you really don't know what to expect. And it was really nice to see him do what he did, settle off the, off the pace. And then when I read asked him, he, he took off. Reflect back a few years ago at Santa Anita when you thought mm -hmm. you had the horse and not this time, yeah. and it turns out yeah, it was just, he was named for not this time because you weren't going to sell him. It turns out, unfortunately, yeah. you kind of had a yeah. the, the yep. name fit the he, very close. But yeah, it was such a gut wrenching race. You know, we I think any other Breeders' Cup we would with that race that he ran, we would have won. Um, he just ran into a monster that day in Classic Empire, ran a huge race, but um, we couldn't have been more proud at Homebred come within a neck of winning the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. Was, it was really special, but we wish we would have got there, but maybe t tomorrow's going to be our moment. And, do you, uh, and Dennis, do you think that this is sort of the ultimate do-over? Um, because it is the same ownership and, and Dale and everything, you can talk about do-overs that uh, not this time came close yeah, not and this, then never ran again. Not this time, yes, that was, uh, there's a highs and lows in this business. And when I got the phone call from Jason to say about the, the low, that was very sad. And then now we're back on a real high and we want to keep it that way. So we, to have a chance at this 
and uh, we're very excited. This is so One important other. for future, for so much more. You know, after this, after tomorrow, Saturday, our, our focus of, as a team and as a stable, we, we turn our focus to the first Saturday in May. So this gives us such a springboard going forward. So, so much excitement after tomorrow, we'll, we'll start thinking about how we're going to get that first Saturday in May. So this is a big stepping stone tomorrow and see where we stand. Dale's not shy about talking up this horse, although he does say he's letting the horse talk. Have now, you ever but... heard Dale not talk about a horse? Uh, yeah, you got a point. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, but even yeah. this horse, I think he's talking a little different yeah. about. But, but just, I mean, when you're hearing the stuff you're hearing, the fact that he's, you know, the favorite for this race over a Baffert horse who yeah. won a grade that one race surprising. here at yeah, Santa That was surprising Anita. us. You know, uh, we, obviously Dale's thought a lot about this horse and this hear him compare him to some of the all-time greats that's been in the Romans barn. It's flattering for us, exciting, and we just can't wait to see, you know, what the future holds for him. And we, we're going to see hopefully a glimpse of it tomorrow. Are y'all nervous? Uh, very. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Dennis? I haven't slept for two weeks. <laughs> Another an hour or two, and yeah. I take a lot of little naps through the day. But yes, I'm very. Well, nervous. you know, this is that's what's what's fun about this business is you know coming out here and, and interacting with so many great people in the industry and your friends, and it's just such a it's great it's a great weekend, and we're, we're going to really enjoy the next couple of days, and that's why we're in this business. And if you don't enjoy these kind of moments, then you shouldn't be in the game.